as you dreamt this this week, yeah, because I know you envisage a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Did you see that finish? Yeah, I, I certainly saw the head kick. You know, I knew Donald was planning to kick me in the head and get it get add to his impressive resume of most head kick knockers, which. It's mind blown to me to have that kind of record, so I was very happy to land the kick on Donald myself. I knew he had, I knew he had leans and dips and susceptible to it himself, so I'm happy to catch that. Talk to me about the emotional release at yeah. the end. Oh, it's, 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 yeah, it's just a wild game, man. It's such a psychological <laughs> roller coaster, man. You know, it's just, it's worth every penny this business, you know. So it's, it's a good buzz. <laughs> Shoulder strikes in the clinch, something you worked on? Mm, yeah, well, I've, been, I've been banging people with the shoulder a while now, so I knew that caught him off guard. And when we separated, I saw the busted nose and the busted eye, so I was like, lovely, happy days. I caught him off guard. I knew because he kind of froze when he hit when he hit the force, when I kind of felt I felt like it was a good connection. So, yeah, it's a good shot of mine, you know. Maybe I was saying to Megan, maybe they'll start saying, I'm just a, I've got a, I've got a, or I'm just a left shoulder. The way they say, I'm just a left hand. You know what I mean? The way the supposed experts say that Connor's just a left hand. So, what did you say to me, Con uh, Cowboy and me, at the end? Um, I don't know what I said. I think I said, you know, that wasn't a ha that wasn't too bad of him. That I think, like, I'm happy. Do you know what I'm happy about? That he'll recover from that well, mm. and he could go on. You know what I mean? Because I was thinking in my head if I. If he falls in with the shots like he does, like he is known if it went stretched and I caught him with a big shot. I was thinking like, in my head, I was thinking, I was actually thinking I was going to tell Herb to stop the fight. You know, I wasn't going to, like if I knocked him down, I wouldn't have followed him down, you know what I mean? So I'm just happy that it ended smoothly enough and I got the stoppage finish and made history again, you know. I spoke to his grandma. As well. She's an amazing woman. What a, she, she was here for the first fight. For the first fight of the night, yeah. uh, what a woman has raised such a such a phenomenal fighter that's etched in the in the annals of this game. So much respect to the, to, to the surroundings and to that family. No, 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 Billy Strut tonight. Yeah, I was actually saying to Ariel, you know, maybe when you actually are a billionaire, you don't need to do the Billy Strut. You know what I mean? So the Billy Strut got the Billy Strut got me to a billion. Now I'm a billionaire, so I'll just chill for a bit. <laughs> what part of your strategy when you? We're thinking about how you would come out to start the fight. Were you able to implement that? I just, I don't know. I just, I, I went with the big shot off the bat and he dipped under. And the, even the momentum, you could see the force. And I, I don't know. I just, I just went out confident. That's it. And, you know, it's hard to pinpoint every single sequence of it, you know. So, um, I knew he'd, he'd attempt to dip under the backhand. I knew he, I knew he's known. And he does it well. Like, he dipped under many a great backhanded fighter, he dipped under Robbie Lawler, he dipped, dipped, dipped under uh, Darren Till and got the takedowns and got got uh, advantage in the fights. So it, that opening might have been my ring rust, so to speak, you know, because a little bit too eager. And then when I did knock him down, um, I may have rushed the opening shots and then I had to kind of reset, control the head, step to the side and land the stoppage blows. So that, that would be what um, being out of the cage for 15 months looks like so there's still work to be done we correct we add add um, and correct and move on Dana White says you've been really fixated on the Khabib rematch and that's what he would like to do next mm. um, Khabib as you know doesn't fight during Ramadan should the, the fight with Ferguson happen are you willing to wait until October or whatever it is no no it, the fight will happen the fight will happen oh sorry Okay, thank you. Let, let me help you, please. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. Is that your one, is it? Yes, it's mine. Uh, I'm going to bring you anywhere. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> my fault, my fault. Ah, sorry. Thank you, sir. I know you're getting greedy. We're sticking it above everyone. I'll just hold it here. Um, <laughs> what, sorry, what was it? Yeah, no. I, 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 the opponent doesn't matter, you know. That rematch will happen. It's inevitable. Look at the shape I was in this camp and the shape I was in the last camp. It's, it's non comparable and the commitment I put in, so. Um, it's not the be all end all. I'll just continue doing what I'm doing and focus on myself and my skills and my um, training and carry on. He says he won't bother you about fighting at 170 anymore. He's, he's ah, say he wouldn't. I'd say he wouldn't. I, to be honest, he wouldn't have done that anyway. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So if, if Khabib can't fight until the end of the year, who would you like to face during that time in between if you the had a choice? Like I said, the who does not matter. The who does not matter. Babe, don't. The who does not matter. The, the opponents that I lined up are likely all inevitable. You know what I mean? Sometimes it takes a while to come back around. Like, look at the Donald situation. Me and Donald have been going back and forth since 2015. There's been, 
you know we're involved in this business and we'll be here for a long time you can't people think it's just it's it's forever so there's no rush on anything the who does not matter it's 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 just keeping myself in shape focused and take it as it comes which way class would you prefer Donald? I like this way I have to say you know I know there's Donald's a big man in there Donald said he only cut a pound or two that's a lot that's not accurate. He was in the sauna since Wednesday. We had, we saw him in the sauna since Wednesday. He, I'd take him down from about one. I wouldn't be surprised if he was above one eighty four. About one eighty five, I'd say he was in there. So I was just about one seventy, if even probably. No, no. I, I had a breakfast that morning. So, but like I said, I felt energetic. I felt fresh. I felt the want to be in there. So, I like one seventy. I also like one fifty five, and I could have made one fifty five this 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 camp, no problem. So, I'm I'm open. Like I said, the hill does not matter, the division does not matter, it's just consistency and carry on.